Tom, considering that you're the one in charge of this shoe, um, why did you make us do jousting? I, it's not so much that I'm in charge of this, it's that at some point in the last few weeks, someone on the team said, hey Tom, how about jousting? And I went, yeah, sure. I'm... Now it's happening. Now it's happening. I, I'm not sure how I feel about it, to be honest. I've never, I've never ridden a horse. Thrilled, excited. Yeah, yeah nervous. I don't think we're going to heroic. I don't think we're going to be jousting each other. I think this is this is a tournament. This is a competition. I okay, don't think well, I'm out of here because I was mainly here for the <laughs> you, bodily harm towards you. But you now, were mainly here to stab me in the chest. Now yeah, it's okay. games. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God, they're so big. I, was, <laughs> I, I nearly said that. I thought, is it? Is that too obvious? To, like. I don't think I've ever <laughs> been close to a horse in my life. I've seen horses. Like, I don't want to sound stupid here. I've seen, I've never been close to but a horse. But when you have, it's never been when you're about to get on top of it and to be the height of the back of a horse. Yeah, that's... Uh, which suddenly makes them look like the tallest animals that have ever existed. So Hello. <laughs> right, guys, so these are your horses for the day. So, Tom, you will be riding Freddy. All right. For the day. Hello. And you have <laughs> thanks, a lovely for that. Toby. So what... Oh! <laughs> that, uh, that's fine. That's fine. Thanks, Toby. So what we're I like do... how you caught that and saved it. I just went, no! So what we will do is we'll get you both mounted up, get adjust the stirrup level for you both, uh, and then we'll crack on. All right. Let's go. <laughs> You've done this once before, right? Yeah, one oh, time. Right, yeah. Is there a knack to this? <laughs> yeah, so there... I'll talk you through it as, okay. we, as we get to it. So... I see you giggling there. <laughs> You've got to do this in a minute as well. It's good that you're going first because all I have to do is be better than you at getting on the horse and then it will be fine. You're going to place your left foot into this stirrup. All right, yeah. And then hold the front and the back of the saddle. Hold the front and the yeah, back of the saddle? Yeah, a second, I'll just hold this stirrup. Of course and, the stirrup moves, I just... And you're going to swing your right leg over the back of the horse. That's it. Perfect. Okay, well, that, yep, thank you. So if that you was then beautifully pop your done. right foot into the stirrup. That was very well done. Probably. So that is, I just took that. All right. Thing. If you just, sorry, I'm just going to pop that. Do thing. you feel one with the horse, Tom? No, no not <laughs> at all. Uh, I, I, am, I am on the horse. More than that, I'm not, just not... We'll ask you again at the end, see if you formed a lasting friendship. Yep. So you're going to have your left rein between your thumb and your first finger and your right rein between your first and second thing, finger, okay. just like yep. that. These horses are trained to neck rein. So effectively, taking your hand up the neck is like taking your handbrake off. <laughs> and then... Thank you. you. That's, with... that's the analogy I've got. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. So you take your handbrake off and then you give it a little bit of gas. So that's with your, with your All legs. All right, yeah. As soon as he's took off, then you completely relax your legs off him. Yep because the more pressure you put on him, the faster he's going to want to go. Right, OK, yep. And then when you want to go left, you're simply going to take, so with your hand still up at his neck, you will take your hand over to the left. He will feel this neck, this rein on his neck, and he will respond away from it. So the higher up the neck he feels that, the more responsive okay. he's going to be. So that's the same for left and for right. And then when you wish to stop, you're simply going to bring your hand into your belt buckle and he'll, these reins are connected to this bit in his mouth and that's going to tell him that you want him to slow down. Okay. okay. I think I can remember all that. You got all that as well, Ron? So I am a lesbian and therefore don't drive. So the car <laughs> analogies, I've done the Legoland races, but they didn't have a handbrake, but I think I'm puzzling it out okay. at the same time. Okay, Ron, if you'd like to come, on, good, come over, ready. we're going to get introduce you to Toby. Hello, Toby. So if you just step over here for Hello. me and make your way around onto the steps. Onto so the make steps. your way up to the top step. Okay. Then you're going to put your left foot in this stirrup. Got it. And then swing your right leg over. Perfect. Feeling okay? Feeling good. Right then, let's get these horses moving. God. <laughs> Whilst we stood still here together, I just want to go through some of the motions that you're going to feel when we move from walking into trot. So if, what I'd like you to do is when we trot, we do what's called a rising trot. So as the horse moves, it's got a natural up and down rise and fall movement. So you will then have to kind of counteract that by controlling your own rise and your fall so that we take out the bounce element on the horse's back. And it just keeps them more comfortable and enables you guys to then focus on the skills that we're going to introduce you to. So if we just do that again, so like up and down, up and down, up. So, right, let's get these horses warmed up and then we'll go through a little bit more of the riding elements with yourselves and then we'll crack straight on with some skills. OK. OK, then. I am just going to send you off just to have a, a little trot next to you. We're going to rumble alongside you um, and really just get you to get feel that rise and fall that we talked about earlier. Uh. 
down, up and down. So I feel like I'm out of phase here. I feel like I'm doing the opposite of what's needed here. Just think about pushing all that weight through, into, through your legs yep. into the balls of your feet, okay. keeping your shoulders back yep. and your chin up. Yep. Your right hand away from the saddle. Yep. And then taking that bounce out of the trot. OK. A lot to think about. All right. But I'm sure you can do it. OK. okay let's yep. go again. So hand forward slightly. Hand That's forward, it. kick on. Little kick on. Yep. That's it. So we're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, down up, down, down, up, down. Right. Up, down, yes, up, this looks a lot better. Ooh. Just keep yourself set your oh, weight. No. Oh, 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 no. Because <laughs> you yeah. God damn it. All right. I should be able to nail the timing on this, and I can't. Toby, babes, I don't know if I've got the core strength for this, but we're going to see it through together. All right, then. Let's go. So I'm going to control okay. the speed of the horse for now. Sure. Come on. There we go. So you're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So nope. control <laughs> that fall as much as you're pushing out. I feel like I'm at the wrong rhythm. I don't okay, know which... OK, so kick him on again. Give him a good, good squeeze with your feet. Up, down. Yeah, you've got it. That's it. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> yeah, no, really good. There we go. OK. Really nice. So you've got now the basics. Sure. Of the, the, the real basics. OK, so we're going to crack on with some skills and we'll face it as we go along. Let's go. Awesome. <laughs> How are you doing on the trot? Um, I don't know. I was just sort of bouncing around and apparently it was good, so... Oh, well, you're doing better than me then. I cannot, <laughs> cannot nail the timing on this. I'm, I'm just going to have to keep, keep trying it. There'll You've be plenty this. of time for practice throughout the day. Yeah, we'll be fine. So I'm going to get a ring glance and explain to you what your first skill is going to sure. be. Sure. <laughs> no, I'm being left hanging. I'm being, being left hanging. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no. That wasn't very inner cowboy of me. So guys, these are your ring lances. We are going to use these for your first skill, which is the lancing of the gold rings. So as you see along the tilt, we have our crown rings. I, when I hand you these lances, you will hold them in your right hand. We're going to take them away from our body, down to a horizontal position, up into that armpit and hug that, your elbow into your hips. Take them from the right hand side up and over the horse's head to the left hand side. Once you've got your first ring, do not move your lance anywhere and there's no reason why you should not then get your second ring. No reason at all. <laughs> yeah, Are sure. Are we ready to give it a go? We'll give it a go. I feel ridiculously underqualified for this. Let's, let's go. How are you feeling? Great. Um, my hand-eye coordination is such that I uh, I'm sure that I will get not one but two rings, as well as I confidently predicted that we would be able to do. I'm sure I'll be fine. How about you? How are you feeling? Mm, this is... I am, I am not comfortable right now. This does not feel like a thing I, I'm capable of doing. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Give it a, give it a go. <sighs> yep, yep. That's all yep. we can do is yep. try. <sighs> so I want you to bring that lance down between me and the horse. That's it. Get it up into that armpit. Got it. Right, and now track it up, up and, and over, over his head. So look directly through that ring and then make minor adjustments with that hand. Oh, God, OK. So again, Come on, Toby. I won't ring. let you down. There we there go. There we go. OK, so when you're ready, bring your lance down. Right. Lan lance yeah. goes down. Oh, yeah, yeah, lance is down. That's it. Yeah. Up and over the horse's head. Up and head. over the horse's head. Look directly look through those directly rings. Look through the ring and... Collect it. Yes, hey, well okay. Done. Number two, we'll line it up. Oh! oh it's a miss. And lucky I nearly you. got the camera lens, mind. No! Oh. Back to the hand. Come on! Yeah, we got one of them. Yeah, no. Nope. Kick him, kick him. Oh, no, I was. Uh, <laughs> no, you little. Give him another kick. Well, we tried, Toby. That's yes, one. Yes, one. That's two. Yes. One. Nice. Oh, oh, missed it. That. Missed oh. that. No! Oh. Oh, I'm getting worse. Oh, <laughs> look it. Yes! yes. Ah. Oh, oh, easy, oh, easy, oh, oh, easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. That drop there. Oh, what was that all about then? What was that? 
There's something up there that he didn't like. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm okay. You feel okay? Yeah. <laughs> Whew, tell me we got that on camera. A little bit of adrenaline there at the end. Yep. There was, uh, I, don't know if it'll, I don't know if the microphone will cover it, there was a loud noise behind and uh, someone got a little bit startled there. You. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So guys, our next strength is going to be the striking of the quintain. Now this here is our quintain. It is a wooden man-shaped target used to test the knight's accuracy and sh on the shield and strength, uh, the combined strength of the rider and the horse. So what we would like you to do is shortly we're going to hand you a quintain lance. So very much like your ring lances, if you don't have it couched in properly, on impact, that lance is going to pop out from your armpit. And we can do one of many things, but one is to, to effectively clothesline yourself off the back of the horse. I don't so, know why I'm laughing, that's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> now, so the idea being that you're going to hit this part of the, the quintain and it is going to spin round. Now, the, the more you continue moving past it, the less likely you are to get hit <laughs> by the to ball. To get attacked. So, when these would have been used back in medieval times, this would have had a really heavy spiky ball on. And if you didn't strike the quintain properly or you didn't continue your ride away from the quintain, you would get a punishment of being hit by the ball. Right then, are we ready to start? All good to go. Sure. OK, so you're going to aim for that top right-hand part of the shield. Yep. And we don't fall, we just let it there hit. There we go. That and is. Keep getting forward. Yep. Really squeeze. Bang! So keep that shoulders back. Yep. Nice. <laughs> really nice hit. <laughs> up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Come on, keep <laughs> going. Keep kicking, keep kicking. Oh, no. Here we go. Yeah. Top right hand corner. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Come on. Oh, wrong way, Toby. You're good. Yeah. Yes. Keep going, Toby. Come on, and. Hit. Yay, yes! Really nice. I was convinced that flail was about to hit my head there. Yes! Keep, keep, keep going! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Oh all right. So that is all of your training done for this morning. We're going to break for a minute and collect ourselves, have a bit of lunch, and then we're going to come back out here for the Grand Gauntlet Challenge. Huzzah! So, at any point that you hear me say the Grand Gauntlet Challenge, huzzah! You will follow it with a big, renowned huzzah! So, we're going to try that once more, once I have taken these lances from you. This is exactly... You're like, it's too dangerous with the lances. Yeah. Let's give them <laughs> one This is exactly the sort of thing that I'm immediately cynical about. It's going to, it's going to take a while for me to, to warm up to, to get, get in the word in there. So, let's try this again. When we return after lunch, we are going to partake in what we call the Grand Gauntlet Challenge. Huzzah! Ah! Very good. There's still a layer of irony on that for me. I still, I can't, I can't Commit quite get there Commit to the bit, Tom, come on. Yeah, we need full commitment this afternoon. <laughs> so this afternoon we are going to combine all the skills you have learnt this morning and we're going to put it into a one after the other challenge. You will be competing against each other for this and there's a little surprise in store at the end of the day but you will be in full nightly gear this afternoon. So let's go take a break <laughs> now, get ourselves and horses into costume and we will come back out here shortly. I saved about £400 on renting this car thanks to NordVPN. Seriously, I'm on the road a lot at the moment and it turns out that things like car rental are sometimes priced differently, not based on who you are, not on how well you drive, not on where your billing address is, but instead where the company's website thinks you are. Because I was able to use the magic NordVPN button on my laptop and phone that told the rental place I'm still in the UK, I saved over a third of what this rental would have cost. I don't know why. Maybe I could have saved more if I'd picked a different one of the 60 or so countries that NordVPN supports, but I was happy enough with that. Plus, that magic button means I can access content that's geo-locked. Like if I'm trying to do research and a US news site blocks all Europeans because they can't be bothered to comply with the local privacy laws, which happens to be a surprising amount when I'm in Europe. Although, if you are going to try that with streaming video, check the services terms and conditions first. You can use NordVPN on six devices at the same time. It's never slowed down my browsing. It's lightning fast, as far as I can tell. And if it turns out not to work for you, no bother. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you go to nordvpn.com slash tomscottplus, you'll find the best deal they're currently offering. Right, uh, back to the horsing around.
great. I think we look fantastic. <laughs> Very professional. <laughs> no, Will. Will looks fantastic. Will has hair and cape flowing in the breeze. Beautiful. We, we look like uh, contestants in a game show yeah. who are about to get, like, gunged or we've something. Got, we've got the, the mic on here and everything. It's, it's a strong look. Yeah. Okay, welcome knights. So we are now ready to start the Grand Gauntlet Challenge. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> I'll work on it. <laughs> so we're going to get you mounted up and then we're going to see who's going to be our victor this afternoon. Right then, let's go. So we're going to start off with the collection of the gold rings. Each ring is worth one point. So there's four points available on the tilt. Then we will strike the quintain once in each direction. Another point available for a good, strong, solid hit on the quintain. So a total of six points available for you here. Are we ready? Yes. Right then, let's go. You ready? Yep. Huzzah! Huzzah! Come on, come on, off we go. Okay, so first up to ride we have Lady Rowan the Radiant. Okay, when you're ready, my lady, you shall ride. Oh, nice. She's got it. Hey, she's got it. Not on that one. Come on, reset, reset, get it. Okay, two. <laughs> and it's goes up and it's really tight. Yeah. Okay, cool. Ready? Okay, come on, Toby, we can do it. Got it, she's got it. That's a solid hit. And she was going fast enough to be past the, uh, the flail as well. Here okay, we go. so next up to ride, we have... Thomas the Uncertain. Okay, Yay! Thomas, when you are ready, my lord, please ride. All right. Here we go. Go, trot on. Come on, come on, come on. Go. No. Yes. That's one. That's one. That's one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Trot on. Here we go. Whoa. Come on, come on, come on. No. Yeah. And I lost a stirrup as well. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! Two points! Well done! So that's a total of two points for the Quintain and one point from the ring. <laughs> I was trying so damn hard on that last ring. You did really well though. I mean, not quite as well, my lady. I hate Thank to say so that, much. it sounds wrong, but... Uh... <laughs> Just you need to off your little fedora to me. Thank you so much. <laughs> right then, guys, so the end of that challenge, Rowan, you're on four points and Tom, you had three, meaning Rowan, you are the winner of our Grand Gauntlet Challenge. <laughs> Which means that the, today you get to joust against a real life knight of Middle England. I, let's do it. Good let's luck. Let's go. <laughs> That way. Thank you so much, Squire. You're How was that? <laughs> that was great. That was so fun. I definitely uh, hit him, which is yeah. the aim of the game. So I'm feeling victorious from that point of view. Thank you so much for coming down. Thank you for inviting me. I did not realize at the start of the day I would end it as a night, but you've given me that opportunity, and for that, I can only thank you. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs>